Welcome to this toolbox talk on construction clothing. Wearing the proper clothes to work can help prevent some injuries. Ensuring that you are wearing clothing that is appropriate for the tasks you are performing will go a long way in keeping you safe at work. Protecting the body with the proper clothing can help prevent injuries or lessen any that occur. In this toolbox talk, one by one, we will discuss in detail about each types of protective equipment that should be worn by the workers at the construction site. Construction workers dress directly affects and impacts on their health and safety. The proper work clothing can make a job a lot easier. Workers should take into consideration the weather, the state of the site, and the hazards it presents, as well as their specific work tasks when considering what to wear. In hot weather, workers should wear loose fitting, flowing clothing, and sunblock to protect themselves from the sun, and in winter, they need to dress for protection from the cold, as well as other adverse conditions such as rain, snow, or sleet. We will be discussing about each type of cloth worn by a worker from head to toe. Head protection. Workers must wear safety helmet when overhead, falling, or flying hazards exist, or when danger of electrical shock is present. Maintain safety helmet in good condition, do not drill, clean with strong detergents, or solvents, paint, or store them in extreme temperatures. Inspect safety helmet routinely, for expiration date, dents, cracks, or deterioration. If a safety helmet has taken a heavy blow or electrical shock, you must replace it, even when you detect no visible damage. Gloves High quality gloves can prevent injury. Make sure that gloves should fit snugly. Always inspect gloves for cuts, tears, and discoloration that might indicate excessive wear. Hands must be clean before putting gloves on, and always thoroughly clean glove exteriors before removing them. Workers should wear the right gloves for the job, for example, heavy-duty rubber gloves for concrete work, welding gloves for welding, insulated gloves, and sleeves when exposed to electrical hazards. Ear protective. Wherever it is not feasible to reduce the noise levels, or duration of exposures, ear protective devices shall be provided and used. Ear protective devices inserted in the ear shall be fitted or determined individually by competent persons. Foot protection. Residential construction workers must wear shoes or boots with slip resistant and puncture resistant soles to prevent slipping and puncture wounds. Safety-toed shoes are recommended to prevent crushed toes when working with heavy rolling equipment or falling objects. Iron face protection. Safety glasses or face shield should be worn any time. Work operations can cause foreign objects getting into the eye, such as during welding, cutting, grinding, or nailing. Iron face protectors should be selected based on the hazards that have been identified and assessed. Body protection. Keep jewelry to a minimum. Rings can get caught on machine parts or other mechanisms or devices and can injure your fingers or hand. Clothing to protect the body should consist at a minimum of long work pants and a sleeved shirt. When hazardous liquids, gases, vapors, or debris are present, the level of protection needed increases. This may include garments of 
Tyvek, Nomix, or PVC. With this, we end this toolbox talk on construction clothing. Thanks for your valuable time. Have a safe day.